Hey everyone, my name is Moahib and welcome to my very first YouTube video. I hope you're all well. Today, I'm going to be testing out the Wooden Wick Co Candle Wax. I'll be using both Wooden Wick and Cotton Wick to test in these gorgeous 9 centiliter candle jars or vessels that I find so cute and small and easy to work with. Over here, I'm going to be showing you two fragrance oils from the Wooden Wick Co All Natural Collection. This is the Spice Bergamot and Labdanum, and this is the um, Paolo Santo and Sage. I hope I'm pronouncing these correctly. Over here, I'm going to be measuring out 60 grams of virgin coconut soy. Alright, so now that the wax is all measured out, I'm going to place it in a double boiler to mount the wax. I'm going to heat the wax between 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 to 88 degrees Celsius. While the wax is burning, while the wax is burning, while the wax is melting, I'm going to get the wooden wick secured into the jar with a double sided sticker. I definitely think double wicking is far too big for the jar, but I'm going to get that tested out in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Comment down below if you if any of you have used the Wooden Wick Co um, waxes or any or any of their products. I'd love to know. All right, so now that the wax has melt has fully melted and it's just over seventy degrees, but my thermometer is actually a little bit broken, so I couldn't get it past seventy degrees Celsius. So I had to take out the wax a little bit earlier just so I don't burn the wax. You can pour and add the fragrance to virgin coconut soy at 180 degrees according to the information given by the wooden wick co i'm going to be adding 11 grams of fragrance oil to my wax and mix for one to two minutes the fragrance load of virgin coconut soy is 10 to 12 percent Okay, so moving on to testing Cocoa Apricot Cream. It's actually my first time trying this wax and I'm super excited to see how it turns out. I've actually never tried any of the Wooden Wick Co products, so I'm super excited to see how, um, how far I go in testing them out. So I'm going to be measuring out 60 grams of wax and then I'm going to pop it into a double boiler. I'm going to be heating up just over 70 degrees just because my thermometer is broken, so I don't want to risk getting my wax burnt. And then for the cotton wick that I'm going to be using is TC, TCR2412. So now that my wax is fully melted and just over 70 degrees, I'm going to take that off from the double boiler and get ready to put the fragrance in. So I'm going to be using 11 grams of fragrance oil and get that mixed in for 1-2 to two minutes. Alright guys, so the candles are looking good so far, they, they still do need a little bit more time to cool. While I wait for the candles to cool, I thought I'd do a mini unboxing for the video just to make things a little bit more exciting and engaging. So I thought I'd buy a few candle accessories from um, Amazon. So I got um, a candle snuffer and a candle wick trimmer and a dipper as well, uh, all in matte black. Um, as you can see here, I'm kind of struggling to open the package because the, it was well packaged. Um, but unfortunately, I did get a bit of a scratch on the um, tray, but that's okay. It's not the biggest problem. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my first very unboxing on YouTube. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment down below on how I did for my very first YouTube video and what more videos you'd like to see from me in the future. And finally, give this video a huge thumbs up. As you guys can see, the candles have completely cooled down and I'm just trimming the wicks down. This is the version coconut soy and it has a few imperfections on the gloss and that's okay. This happened because the wax, when it was cooling, it pulled away from the gloss. 
Um, the cocoa apricot cream also pulled away from the glass, but that does not affect the quality of the candle or the hot throw. Next time, I'll be heating the jars up before pouring the wax into the jar, and hopefully that would prevent the wax pulling away from the glass. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be test burning the candles. Thank you so much for watching.